Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two of how to pick an address from your customer's address list and put it on an order. And if you haven't watched yesterday's video, part one, go watch that first, then come on back. All right, you ready? Here we go. Alrighty, so in yesterday's video, we got our customer form, we got our order form, we got our combo box. Now we need to limit this list to just addresses for this customer. So let's take a peek at the SQL in this box. All right, so go to uh, data here. Here's the row source. Let's shift F2 so we can see this clearly. Now let's clean this up. Since we're only getting data from one query, we don't need all this extra address with type Q stuff, right? Get rid of that. And of course we don't need the brackets because we're good little access developers and we learned with me and I don't use spaces in my field name, so we don't need those brackets. And you really don't need that semicolon at the end, so let's clean that up. And let's move the from down and the order by down. It just makes it easier to read. Okay, so there's our select those two fields from that query, order by this. Now, we need to throw in here a where condition, so right after the from, but before the order by, we're going to put where in there. And we want the customer that's currently on the order. And that's in the customer combo box, right? This is the address combo box. So all we have to say in here is where customer ID equals customer combo. Combo, like that. Ooh, combos, now I'm hungry, man. Okay, ready, hit okay. And then we're gonna close it, save it, close it, open it, and now drop this box down. Ooh, look at that. There's just that customer's orders. All right, let's come over here. Let's take another customer. Let's go to James Kirk, open it up, drop that down. And yep, there's his, right? Parkside, Riverside, somewhere Avenue, right? Those are his. All right, so now that's working. But there's one more little thing we do. And remember I said at the beginning of part one that there's one little teeny tiny line of code that we're gonna need. Well, if you change who this customer is, you need to update that list right there. All right, so we need to put something in this after update event for this combo box that makes this guy requery itself. It's really easy. It's one line of code. Go to design view, open up the properties for the customer combo box, go to events, find the after update event, hit the dot, dot, dot builder button. Now, if you haven't watched my previous VBA videos, I'm pretty sure that was a prerequisite for I think part five of the previous series, but go watch intro to VBA. You'll find a link on that video and go watch the after update event video if you want more information on that. But right in here, all you have to do is put one line of code. It's literally address combo dot requery. That's all you need. What that says is when this combo box has its value changed, right, after update, then requery the address combo box, which is going to look at the new customer combo and it's going to download all those addresses into this box. That's it. All right, requery the address list when the customer combos change. Okay, debug compile once in a while. And then close it, close it, close it, save it, open it, ready? All right, so we got James Kirk in here. Let's see, there's James Kirk's. All right, now if I change this to Getty Lee, that's there's his, Toronto, right? If I change it to William Riker, there's his. Okay, so that's working now. All right, let's go back to an actual order. Let's go back to here. Okay, now the next place we have to do, oh, the next place we have to do, the next place we have to put it is in the actual order itself. All right, if I hit invoice now, I get customer T dot address. Why is that? What does enter parameter value mean? I got a whole separate video on enter parameter value. All right, this basically means that whatever you got going on here, a query or whatever underneath this this uh, this report is looking for a value that doesn't exist anymore. So hit cancel. And let's see what's going on here. So let's open up the order invoice queue. That's what the invoice is based on, right? If you don't remember, go to the order invoice. That's the report, design view. Okay, it needs a field called address, city, state, zip, all that stuff. This guy, whenever you can't figure out enter parameter value, just work backwards from the thing you're trying to open. All right, so everything looks fine here. Go to data. All right, order invoice queue. Let's analyze this guy. You can open it right from here, but I don't like doing that. I don't like opening stuff from inside of other stuff. I'll close that and go back to the order invoice queue, this guy. Design view. And let's see here. Let's, oh, look at all this. Oh, expression one, expression two. Whenever you see expression something and you're not expecting it, 
What happened was we actually, in the last series, we deleted the address fields from the customer table, right? Because we took them out of there. We put them in the address table, right? So city, state, zip, country, all that stuff no longer exists. So we're going to delete those. But we need them for the, for the invoice, right? So where are we going to get them from now? Well, now they're in the address table. And fortunately, our order has an address ID. Oh, guess what? Address T, meet the query. Okay, and we're also gonna make sure we make this a left join because remember what this does. If we have a customer, or excuse me, if we have an order where we didn't pick an address, we still wanna see the order. It just won't have an address on it, right? If you leave this as a double join, as, a, as an inner join, then you have to have a record in each table. Now that we've got that, we can add this stuff back to the query, save it, run it if you want to see, All right? Oh, there's my, oh, wait, these are, these are blank. Maybe I didn't pick one for this order. Let's see. So this is order one, close it. Yeah, yeah, see, exactly, I didn't pick one, all right? So let's pick the Daniel's address, hit the invoice, and now it works. And there's the Daniel's invoice. And if I change to the One Street Buffalo, it updated to the One Street Buffalo address. See, that's it. That's all you got to do. It's not that complicated. The tough part is just getting the list of addresses for that customer in this combo box. Then you can pick an address and then just update your order query. So it's got the right address in it. See, not that hard. Now, this is mostly the kind of stuff that I spend my entire expert series of classes going over. I got 32 levels of expert classes. A level is at least an hour long. Most of them are longer, 90 minutes, two hours, some of them. And this covers all the, the more advanced than beginner stuff, but not quite developer stuff. You don't need programming for any of this stuff, with the exception of maybe the occasional one line of code or a tiny macro, uh, if you want to automate something, like changing that, uh, that combo box that we did today. But by and large, 99% of this material requires no programming, but it's all the, the more advanced stuff but I don't want to say advanced because I also have an advanced series. It's all about macros and events. So expert is kind of sandwiched in between there, right? But check it out. Tons of stuff on my website. And I go through examples like this. It's all about order entry. Well, not all about, it's mostly about order entry and running a small business and that kind of stuff. So, right, here's the order entry system and if functions and sharing data, and all, you name it. All the outlines are on my website. Check them out. But that's gonna do it for today, folks. That's your tech help video. Liam, I hope this helped you. I hope this helped you out. <laughs> I hope this helped you out. <laughs> but live long and prosper, my friends. I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that Show More link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. 
and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.